Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So today, as always, we are going to be continuing on, but this time we are new with a new character called Faram. Faram as in the Faram Knight, level 127, the stats are over there as you can see. We're going to be continuing into the DLC area, because it's been released today. Yay. This character, as you can see, has pretty much a lot of stuff. I think it's more one of my complete, most complete characters. Now, when I logged on, I got this, the Dragon Talon. Let's go through. Let's go see what this says. A terribly worn Dragon Talon. Legend has it that the deepest re reaches of the Black Gulch behind a door locked from, from the inside is a magnificent city built for the greatest sleeping dragon. This talon clearly dates to an ancient time, but still, vitality emanates from it still. So, there may be a few errors in this run through, um, namely the fact, namely the fact my Xbox 360 controller has decided that it's not going to work very good. Let's just quickly change where, can we, where do we get the settings for? I've been so long. There we go. Um, hide automatically. There we go. There we go. Alright, so yes. Namely, my settings um, tend to reset them. So, well, not tech settings. Um, my run, my forward button is screwed up. My controller is completely screwed at the moment. Alright, is there anything interesting on you? The guys around this area do have something interesting to say, those statues. Let's go, let's go see what the stat statues have to say. Alright, so... Forbidden is the path to the ancient king's domain. Trespassers will face adversity for befitting a monarch. With, with water dry and, pass and path amiss, woeful temptations dismiss. The city of the sunken king sleeps, as does the dragon within. This is a lot of talk about a dragon. All this talk about this dragon is making me think that we have gun we're gonna be screwed over by a big dragon. Alright. Let's go. We've also we've got uh we don't have a pyromancer hand on. Oh there's our pyromancer hand. Yes, this character is kinda of built to kinda of do everything. So yeah. I mean the stats, look at those, it's a bit strange, it's all over the place. I think I built him so I'm pretty sure it's so I could dual wield katanas because I know the Faram knights typically dual wielded right we are here throne of the sunken king it's friggin lovely to be back nope ok alright statues are not going to attack me that's, that's, ok nope nothing dangerous ok good Ah, oh, there we go. Dragon charm. I'm guessing this place is going to be about the dragon people. The, um, dragon convent? Maybe? Maybe they worship- oh god, holes in the wall. Are going to release spiders? No? Good. Here we are. Shulva, Sanctum City. Bloody how that place looks lovely. Looks at. What the hell? What the shitting fuck? No. Nope. What are you doing? Okay then. I thought that was going to fight me here and now. I'm guessing that's going to be our boss. That's going to be the boss of the area, I'm guessing. My friend. I'll see you later, I guess. Alright. I haven't played Dark Souls since the playthrough. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have played it since the playthrough. I've played quite a bit to get this character up. And also, I've been doing live streaming on it. And bonfire lit. Let's quickly rest. Just so we can get our Estus Flasks back. So we kind of needed to use a few to get down it. I did it! And then I did it. A dee dee. Hurrah for skeleton! Hmm. There's a path downwards there. Ooh, there's an item. We're going to be very cautious in this place because I heard it will kick your ass. Old growth palm. Palm. What the hell is that? Temporarily increased strength. That's cool. 
Um, that's a new item. Alright, so what's down here? I don't know whether or not we should go down here. An empty room. Huh. There is a there is a button there on the floor. Do we press the button? No. M maybe that I think that might be the um the two person path. And there is a path which you can only activate if you have two people. I'm pretty sure that's it. You have to complete the area first, so before you can go down there. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh. Hi. That's how you slam a sword. Oh my god, that was powerful. Oh, you have poisonous... poisonous... um... hammer. Oh. Club. Oh, there's an item down there. Okay, I'm not going to jump to that. That's kind of ridiculous. Oh my jeez. Oh, sweet lord. Um, read message. Try attacking. Oh, shit. Whoa, that was a bit damaging. Um. Hmm. Alright, let's lower him back a bit. Never fight as a group. Never fight them as a group. It's probably going to be the best idea we've got. Here. There we go. Okay, so three hits from a greatsword takes him out. Oh my god, these guys are powerful as crap. This character isn't sort of adverse, like built straight towards anything though. This character is pretty much built to sort of be everything. So we kind of miss, we kind of miss the um, advantage of being, you know, purely one, purely one skill. So we get that massive, like, boost in strength from like the forty or so. I know if you reach 40 strength or so, you will probably be a lot stronger. I know it may have been more sensible to use someone that- Oh my- I know it may have been more sensible to attack- use someone that didn't have- for, that had 40 strength. Hey, there's orbs over there. Now, I've got to admit, I did look into the game a lot. Into this DLC area a lot, because of course- Oh my god, that's free bo uh, bowman. Oh, crapping hell, you guys are not what letting up. I like it. I, you know, at least they're not hand-holding anymore. They really aren't. Three archers in one zone. Go on. Come on, then, friend. Nope, you're not going to take it. Cool, you died. Alright, let's take out these archers. Oh, God, he's going first. Alright. It was a good idea to get the dragon, the dragon, um, okay. It was a good idea to get the dragon rider's bow, apparently, because... What the hell? This is one of the things that I hate about Dark Souls, is the massive, like, massively inaccurate at, um, walls. Right, set to attack this. What the frick did we just do? Okay, then. Um... The frick was that all about? Is there anything important on there? Doesn't look like it. I don't really trust it too much though, because I'm expecting that to sort of lull me into a false sense of security. Come on then, get out your swords. Jesus Christ! They're doing a lot of damage. Good thing I have a lot of life chefs. Alright. Oh, hi down there. Hey. Alright. I wonder how resistant they are to lightning. Pretty friggin' resistant. Why is he actually down there? Surely they shouldn't they shouldn't be like putting this guy in my reach of my bow. Maybe they hope people didn't like notice him or something? Eh. Right, so that one brought up that. Um, did we, we picked up this item? I didn't remember. I remember. Huh. So, that one brought up that platform, so this one, I'm guessing, is going to bring down that one. Come on down. 
What the? Oh, yes. Okay, so they're not all good. Um, some of them bring up guys. I thought that was going to bring that down. I want, I want the item off that. Come on. Jump down, friend. Goodbye. That was a bit dumb of him. Um, so, if I attack these, do we... I'm kind of surprised you haven't been invaded, actually, because this character... No, this character does not have any sin. So that makes sense. Yes. Heirs of the Sun. Alright. Will that lower it down? Yeah, that will lower it back down. Okay. I kind of don't like the fact that I have to hit those to do that. Oh, cool. It's got a lower level. Does that one have a lower level? This is friggin' awesome. Uh, can I shoot this with a bow, actually? I can. Where's that? What's that lowering? Oh, hi. Oh, cool. This place is awesome.